Okay, it is five o'clock, Wednesday. It's gotta be 103. <laughs> I took a nap today, just got up. I gave Lily and Rosie a bath. What are you doing, Lily? Oh gosh. I'm sitting in the shade, letting them out. Gonna make dinner in a little while. Very lazy day, really. Other than giving them baths. That was that's not easy, but it's it's worth it because they feel so good. Listen to those birds. Okay. Oh, I see the chicken's water was dumped over. Darn. <laughs> Guess they need it. Listen to that. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. Just thought I'd start off sharing that I just got up from a nap after bathing the babies. Okay. I am trying to make a cow. <laughs> and uh, I've just kind of sketched it out and started filling in the colors. And I thought I would show you. We'll see how it goes from here. It's almost sunset here. It is sunset, actually. So I am going to... I'm watching... Well, I'm not really watching it, but let's see what it looks like outside. Ooh, pretty. That's so nice to be able to look out here easily. Sunset, Texas. It is Wednesday. It's about 100 degrees still, I think, or at least close to it. But tomorrow's supposed to be a little better, which I'm grateful for. So I'll talk to you later as I go on with this painting and try to show you all the different steps it takes. Okay, check out the sunset. Isn't that pretty? The sky is gorgeous. It's still hot, but it's really pretty out here. So beautiful. Ooh. I'm sitting in there painting a cow. My first cow ever. <laughs> Look at it. I love the sky. What a gift God gives us every night. Almost every night. Okay, that's about it. Time for me to go inside. Hi, YouTubers. It's RV Debs, and it is Thursday. Um, it's about four in the afternoon, or actually, it's five in the evening. Five in the afternoon, and I'm just. Um, I thought, well, it is time for me to sh share a little bit of stuff with you guys. It's, um, yesterday was 103 degrees, but today I think it's like 93 degrees. I'm looking at the weather right now. Um, but anyway, it's not in the hundreds, which is, I never thought I'd say it was great. I'm grateful for the nineties because it was, when it's a hundred degrees, there is nothing, nothing good about it. Nineties is, it's hot out there. I'm not going out. Um, but I spent the morning, well, the afternoon at Cat and Mark's, played dominoes, and um, watched Big Brother with Kathy. Yeah. And that was about it. But I wanted to share um, my, my latest painting. I, um, I, I painted it last night. And um, when I was all done, I listed it on Etsy, but I didn't make a video of it, and I didn't offer it to anyone, but it sold while I slept because when I woke up this morning, it was already sold. I'm so fortunate and so thankful. Let me show you the painting though because I thought it turned out pretty good. I did a cow. Daisy the cow. <laughs> yeah, but somebody grabbed it. So it will go out this week. I have to send the owl and I'm going to send the cow too. I don't know what I'm going to paint next. 
I'm not, I don't know. Sometimes I just have to wait for the urge. Yeah. So, I hope you're all having a good week. It's almost the weekend again. I tell you, time flies. Flies around here. Well, I'm trying to think about if there's anything else to tell you and to share with you, but not really. Uh, it's just hot and it's summer and I stay inside mostly. Either my house or their house. And... Um, Tonight's I'm just going to probably hang out home. Maybe I'll start another painting. Not sure yet. Maybe I'll do some flowers. I don't know. I, I never know. Someone said, why don't you make Christmas and Easter and all that paintings and you sell them. I, I, I don't really, I don't like to do those kind of paintings. I just paint whatever my mood strikes me, you know. Someone said they wanted an owl. Well, I, I like birds a lot. So that was an easy, no problem, I'll do it. And um, the cow, well, there's so many cute cows around here. They really have cute faces. Uh, Lee and Stephanie have two, um, a mother and baby. So there's a lot of cute paintings of cows and faces. I just found a cute one and did it. I thought it turned out pretty good. It, you know, painting, I don't know how I can paint because I'm not taught... Um, I just like draw it out in pencil and, um, you know, paint it. And then really when you, when you think about it, when you put your, when you, you know, start painting, whatever you're painting, when you think it's done, that's when you start, that's when you start beginning. Because if you don't layer your paint on, like... I mean, because I, I, I'm going to show it in my slide at the end. Just for an example, when I first did the, the cow, then I had to think, well, how do I, how do I make it you know, pop? And it's the little bit of shadings and layerings, and um, that's how it works. If you don't you know, do the shadings and stuff, it's not going to look that real. I like his eyes. Looks kind of sad. That's because he's thinking, what are you looking at? Like, you looking at me? <gasps> so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's a gift. It's a gift from, from God because every time I start a painting, I usually get to a point where I'm like thinking, this is not good. And then I just keep going until it, it is good. And I think that that's the key. You know, a lot of times you can paint a painting, but if you don't have depth, layering it, shadowing it, it's not going to look that good. I'm still learning. I, I'm all self-taught, so, you know. But I wanted to, um, I just wanted to talk about my painting that, I, that I'm so grateful sold already. I have no more paintings for sale, so i got to paint another painting. But that's good because next month I'm going to San Antonio and I've got, I'm not sure if Craig's going to make it here. I hope so. I'm praying he is okay. But if not, I'm going to have to do a, you know, an Airbnb or a hotel. And uh, it, it gets expensive to travel. So, plus I'm saving. I'm saving for a shed, which is going to be a, at least $400. Probably around three to five. So, you know, it helps me to make extra. So I really appreciate anybody that's buying anything from me. Thank you. Um, let's see what else. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll show you this. You know, Chuck bought, Chuck bought the owl, and he also bought this necklace. And um, I wanted to show him what it looks like. It's going to be, It's it could be male or female. It's, you know, cool black, black beads with a little bit of gray in it. And he bought that, so I'm gonna send that with it to it. But really cool beads. Yeah, I think he's gonna like that. Thank you, Chuck. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna end this here and um, start the uh, dinner time coming up and feed the dogs and all that normal stuff. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. I am trying to make a cow. 
and uh, I've just kind of sketched it out and started filling in the colors and I thought I would show you we'll see how it goes from here it's almost sunset here it is sunset actually so I am going to I'm watching well I'm not really watching it but let's see what it looks like outside Ooh, pretty that's so nice to be able to look out here easily Sunset, Texas. It is Wednesday. It's about 100 degrees still, I think, or at least close to it. But tomorrow's supposed to be a little better, which I'm grateful for. So I'll talk to you later as I go on with this painting and try to show you all the different steps it takes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.